Welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to tune any car using an Apexi Super AFC and before we get into today's video I want to run you guys through exactly what that is uh, a Super AFC basically um, adjusts the stock fuel curves um, in your ECU by uh, means of or via uh, the oxygen sensor signal that uh, goes into the ECU to let the ECU know what's going on so it adjusts that signal to allow the ECU to add or subtract fuel. You basically do this on a lot of boosted vehicles or modified um, vehicles but today we're going to be doing it on this uh, 4AGE swapped Corolla so let's get into today's video and also guys before we get into it even though i've said that already uh make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications it really does mean a lot it helps me out tremendously and also gives me incentive to keep making how-to videos and drifting videos and builds like this so thank you guys so much for your support let's get into today's video All right, so just like I said, this is my 20 valve silver top 4AGE swapped Corolla. And the back of it, it has been modified to say the least, but we're not focusing on the um, aesthetics or the body of it right now. We're just focusing on toning this thing. Now, we have a Super AFC installed. Like I said, that's what we're going to be using to tune this thing. And also, we have a... AEM wideband so we can read what the motor is doing so I've already checked the oil I've already checked the coolant so now it's time to start this thing up let it warm up take it for a pretty uh, rough drive because you got to get these things warmed up before you start messing with the with the fuel trims and then we can get into tuning it so yeah this is the interior nothing super special going on in here like I said we have the wideband to read what the air to fuel ratio actually is and we have the super afc so let's turn the key forward everything's going to be booting up super afc got my fans connected so i'm just going to start the vehicle so that the alternator can uh, charge it up and if you notice from the uh wide band the uh, mixture is going to be super rich i actually already tuned this thing in idle to idle pretty high like to um be right around 14 15 16 but what we're going to do now is i'm going to take all of that out so you guys can see just how because i have like 25 percent of fuel out And if you notice, this thing says this is the low throttle. And let me explain to you what that means. So in the settings of it, it has high throttle, low throttle, throttle point, and NE point, right? And a couple of other options. But these are the three main ones you have to focus on. You want to go to throttle point. Your low throttle map or the adjustments is going to be under 30% throttle. Your high throttle map that you're going to set is going to be when you get above 70% throttle the high map setting in the super afc is going to be what you're running off of so let's recap whenever you're under 30 percent throttle um throttle uh position you'll be running off of whatever you set on this low map when you're above 70 percent you're going to be whatever you set on this high map whether that's more fuel or less fuel it's it's super simple so you just heard it cut off that's from, like I say, it's running super rich, so watch this. Still doing it, so watch, I give it a few revs. Get rid of that fuel. Still dying, let's see if I can get it to stay on. Like I say, it's running super rich. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, because it's running so rich that it doesn't want to idle, what I'm going to do is before we go for a drive, I'm just going to take out right around 20% fuel on the low map because that's going to be what it's warming up as. So right around anywhere between 1,000 and 2,000, we're going to be running at 20% of fuel deducted. So watch, see? 1,000 RPM, 20% of fuel deducted. 1500 RPM, 20% of fuel deducted. And 2000 RPM, 20% of fuel deducted. And as you go over, you can make adjustments more. But I'm just going to leave it at that so we can get this thing to idle. You're going to go up to monitor now, three channels. I'm going to be monitoring throttle position, uh, rev count, and correction. Correction is if the it shows you that if the Super AFC is taking out or putting in fuel. So it's super simple. Let's see if it'll start and run now. I'm gonna probably grab it a few times. And you see the correction going on? So, like I said, this thing doesn't want to idle. It's running way too rich. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it for a spirited drive. And then I'm going to show you guys how I am tuning the for the high map. If you guys can see temps are right where I want them to be right right on the half or right around half there's no thermostat in this thing so it's just running basically off of uh, the temperature that's in the air uh, which means that um, oh, also I live in the Bahamas so it's a very hot temperature normally and right now we have 20% fuel coming out and we are right around 13.6 and we do not want to be there so what you would do you press previous 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 go to settings low throttle and continue to take out fuel so if I have 20% in let's say I do 25 25 25 let's do 25 straight up until four grand because I figure I'm gonna be in low throttle right around those RPMs so let's even go to five so 25 straight across the board at low throttle so anytime I'm below um 30 percent on the throttle it's going to be on this map where it's taking fuel out so let's go back let's go to monitor let's go to three channel and now 20 percent is being taken out and now it's right around 13 14 and 14 and 15 even 16 is where you would want it to idle at so that it doesn't burn a lot of fuel i just revved it you can see it got rich getting back lean that's exactly what we want so on low throttle we pretty much have it right where we want it to be now what we're going to do is record a high throttle pass so that we can uh, monitor the afrs and adjust correctly or properly or as needed i should say <laughs> All 
All right, guys, you just saw it. It's running right around, I think, uh, from 12.5 to 13.1, 13.2 on AFRs. And I want it to be somewhere around 14, even though that seems a bit high. I want it to be like, you know, 13.5, I'd say, you know, on the, on the full load, just so I know it's getting uh, the proper you know burn and it's not fouling out the plugs because 13 12 9 is a bit rich and it's close to the sweet spot i'm looking for but i'm gonna tune it for right around uh 13 5 so we're gonna take maybe five percent fuel out on wide open throttle and we're gonna see how that runs so here we go i'm gonna turn the key on Wait for this thing to boot up. Now we're gonna go to previous, previous, previous. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to high throttle this time. And what you're gonna do is take out 5% fuel on high throttle all across the board, straight up to 8,000 RPM. And that should have us right where I wanna be. Yeah, all across the board, 5%. So now, I'm gonna go back. Right there, should be ready to go. All right, let's take it for another run. So it's pretty clear that even under wide open uh, throttle, this thing is still running right around 12, 8, 12, 9. So we're going to go back into settings. And yes, guys, you guys can tune this thing by RPM. When you're boosted, it's very important to do so. But for me, eh, not so much. I'm NA. So uh, right up until around 5K, uh, the adjustments are good. And it keeps it right at around 13, 2, 13, 3, but right around 5, I'm gonna bring it up to 8, 8%, 8 straight up until wide, um, straight up until the rev limit. So let's go to 10 actually. And then now we're gonna make another, make our final pass, and that should be it. guys it's literally just that simple i didn't go into all of the minuscule like the small details about how to use this thing but that is exactly the gist of it you need a wide band you need a super afc and definitely you guys can tune this thing or any vehicle that you put together once you have a wide band and a tuner uh fuel this only adjusts fuel a full standalone would be able to adjust timing and a lot of other uh different parameters of the motor but that's basically the gist of adjusting using a piggyback system like a Super AFC. So uh, this thing is running very good. I have a little bit of clutch slipping uh, and that's not from the clutch itself or from the sleeve or the mask or anything like that. There's an adjustment on the bottom of the pedal. I have to adjust that so that uh, the engagement is far up at the top of the pedal and I need to adjust it where it is back in the center of the pedal so that I can uh, slam through the gears properly. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you guys at all, make sure to smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you like videos like this and share this video with a friend. It really does help me out a lot. Thank you guys. And uh, that <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'm back home now, but I was uh, interrupted by someone that was curious about the car. And um, like I was saying, 
thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate you guys and all the support all of the likes that you guys have already been giving me and i'll catch you on the next one